Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I've got a really fun video today. I went to a online Facebook party <laughs> for Bio Seaweed Gel. Um, it was pretty exciting. You went there and you did little things to win prizes and I won like the last prize that they had, which was a $25 gift certificate to Bio Seaweed Gel, which I really was excited because I've been wanting to try um, their product. So I was really excited to get a gift certificate so with my gift certificate I purchased the um, the three statement gel and this um, this changes color with temperature so it's like a mood it changes color in the Sun and it glows in the dark it is completely awesome I put it on a swatch stick it's really cool I love it love it love it and then I got um, this and this is a multi chrome it's their metal collection, I think, or something like that. Or maybe it's Elements Collection. Let me see what it says. I think it's Elements. I don't know. It doesn't say. Anyways, this is called Metal, and I love this. This is pretty cool. You need a black base, which I did not know um, to use it. So I don't have any Bio Seaweed Gel Black, but that's okay. I'll just use my Wave Gel. And I did buy the Bio Seaweed Gel No Wipe um, Top Coat and Base Coat. I got this off of eBay because it was cheaper there and it was like $18. So I'm really, you know, I just don't like to mix, you know, polish with different other brands, base and top coat. So I got that. And then I got this off of eBay too. It's called Airbrush Returns. I could swear I saw a live video where they use an airbrush. Um, a while back where they used an airbrush I could swear it was called airbrush I'm pretty sure it was called this I don't really know but um they said it that they don't make this that they make artiste and it's just coming out actually so I don't know if maybe they thought they were gonna do it and had it at a show because it was a live one and I don't know what happened um, but this one was on eBay, it did say that it was a Bio Seaweed Gel brand, and then when I asked about it, because they said it wasn't theirs, because um, I, I was actually looking to buy this on their website with my gift certificate. Um, anyways, and the guy said, well, it was made for them, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But anyways, this is actually a really cool product, so I'm going to show you how to use this, too. Um, it gives your um, gel polish an airbrush look, which is different from a gel marbling look. This is like, you know, one of those airbrush looks. That's pretty cool, I like it. So anyways, let's get into the video and uh, see what I got. Okay, first I'm going to apply the Bio Seaweed Gel Base Coat. Normally I would cap the edges of my nails, but um, this is just a swatch video, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm going to put that on the rest of my nails and cure it and come back. I'm going to apply the three statement, and this is number nine, color number nine. And this is the color it is when it's cold. Of course, it's hitting my warm nails. <laughs> and, um, gee... This is kind of clear. <laughs> All right, let me put this on the rest of my fingers and uh, cure it and come back. I used my UV um, LED lamp, and this is the color it is. To tell you the truth, I wasn't really fond of any of the um, the sun colors. I'm really not fond of this one either. <laughs> um, it's like really yellow it's like my least favorite but all the other ones were either they were either blue or yellow so i don't know whatever okay so let's put on another coat and uh i'll do that to the rest and cure it and come back so um yuck <laughs> um you know, I think this will be okay, though, if I do nail art with it. I can make it into flowers, and yellow flowers are okay. <laughs> um, maybe do something with a different color background, and maybe it'll make it kind of orangey or something like that. Anyway, 
So let's check out this top coat. Okay, the top coat's nice. Looks pretty shiny. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the rest of my fingers and we'll come back for the final look. Luckily enough, it's not that yellow once you get the top coat on there. Um, so that's kind of a good thing. It looks like a little on the clear side. So I'm going to warm up my nails really good and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at those. They're just when it's warm. I'm not seeing a color maybe just real light, light rose. Um, very pretty. I'm liking that. Um, I know it's not really coming out anything on the camera, but it is sort of like a, um, a French pink off camera. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, but anyways, it's coming off like a, a French pink. I really like that. And let's check it out with cold. Definitely like the cold color, which isn't coming out great on camera either. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know what to describe it, like a, um, like a purpley pink. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. Okay, so now we're going to see it glow in the dark. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty amazing. Okay, so next we're going to try the gel chrome multi-chrome color in the shade Metal. So on my fingers, I used the Wave Gel Base Coat and one coat of Clean Slate. I'm just doing a swatch, so um, this is this will be dark enough. And now we're going to go over it with Metal from Bio Seaweed Gel. Okay. okay, I guess we'll go with two coats of this. I'm going to um, cure this and we'll come back for a second coat. This is amazing. There you can see a little bit of the purple blue shift. Um, off camera, it's completely gorgeous. I really love it. Um, I'm going to put another coat on to see if I can give you guys a dark, um, like a darker picture of it, or a darker look. So let's get going. Okay, so down here, you don't really notice anything, um, unfortunately, because my camera seems to like to be up close and personal with my fingernails. Doesn't like to be way up there. So anyways, I'm just gonna put a second coat on everything and then we'll come back and we'll get in my camera's face and look at this beautiful polish. And before I give you a close-up look, I'm going to put um, the Bio Seaweed Gel in a wipe top coat on. So I'm gonna do that to all my fingers and then come back. So here's the finished look. It's a gorgeous shift between a like turquoisey bluish green to purple. It is, oh my gosh, it is beautiful. And the glitter in it is amazing. I really love this one. Um, I also tried it over white. Um, obviously you don't get any color shift with it, but it looks really pretty. And then I did it over um, a dark pink, and um, you don't get a color shift there, but it's pretty sparkly, pretty beautiful. Um, I just wanted to see what it would look like, but um, I'm really loving it over the black. This is going to be like one of my faves for fall. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'll ever get this off my fingers. <laughs> Oh, this is just so beautiful. Okay, um, I'm going to actually do some really awesome nail art with this and with the Statement 3. So we have one more item to test. So let's get on to that. Next up is the Airbrush Returns. To test the Airbrush Return, I've got um, three false tip holders here. And I've got three um, white fake nails. So I don't have to do any polishing and what we're going to do is I'm going to put um, wave gels no clean top coat over this one ok 
Okay. In the center, I have um, the um, Bio Seaweed Gel No Clean Top Coat. Okay. And over here, we're going to put the airbrush returns on and the airbrush returns ugh, is like really super thick and goopy so if you're applying this to your nails you want to put it on in a thin coat it's it's not actually that hard to get it in a thin coat on your nails it's just it's kind of goopy when you kind of get it off there. But anyways, on the tin foil, I have Pinkie Pie and I've got a dotting tool. So over here, can you guys see? Okay, over here, I'm going to put a heart. And over here, I'm going to put a heart. And then the airbrush returns, I'm going to put, yeah, you guessed it, I'll put a heart. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to sit there and watch these guys and see what happens. Okay. Let's get you in. Okay, the airbrush returns, as, as you can see, it's starting to spread and look airbrushy. I probably should have used maybe a thinner dotting tool or something like that because now you see that it's getting that airbrush look and the other two really aren't. Oops, I just stuck my finger right in it. Awesome. Um, so that's how that works. Um, when you do an airbrush return though, you kind of want to do it really quickly and cure it because the longer it sits, the more it bleeds into an airbrushy look just depending on what you like. And you can see this one's kind of spreading, but you don't have that airbrushy look. And this guy's just staying there. So um, I'm gonna cure these and we'll come back. Here are all the different ones we got. Um, this one, obviously, I probably left it on there way too long. Um, and these two, you can see how, you know, it really doesn't, doesn't give you the airbrushed look. Um, definitely you can do the water marbling look and uh, this one I just did and I just basically put it on really quick and went over and cured it um, the airbrush returns kind of breaks down the gel to make it into like a light airy look so um, that's kind of cool you probably get the same look with maybe with um they call it alcohol but anyways this is cool whatever <laughs> and this concludes my video so if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you're not one of my subscribers please subscribe thank you for watching bye for now